Hey everyone, it's Gentry. Welcome to episode number 14 of Learn to Yo-Yo. If you're new here, I upload a how-to video right here on my YouTube channel each day of the week where I teach a brand new yo-yo trick. So if you'd like to start learning and pick up a yo-yo, I recommend the Yo-Yo Factory Spin Star. You can get one right on my website, gentrystein.com. It'll be the first link in the description. It's not too expensive, it's a great yo-yo to start practicing with, and it really makes the whole learning process a lot easier. It also comes with a five pack of strings, so I definitely recommend it. So let's get right to the trick for this episode. Today we're going to be learning the Sidewinder. Check it out. Let's slow that down. So this is a really fun trick and not only does it look really cool, but it also serves a purpose. If you guys remember back to episode two where I showed you how to set up your yo-yo, we went over something called string tension where if you can remember, as you practice, the string is going to tighten up and start to twist up like this, which makes your tricks a lot harder to learn. So if you can see my string is way too tight here, that's going to make it a lot harder to do our trick. So if we want to fix that, we can actually do the sidewinder. And so right here, I noticed my strings too tight. Remember, it's made of two strands that become twisted together as we practice. So my string's too tight here. I want to fix it. I want to loosen the string up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is try the sidewinder, check my string tension again, and it's good to go. So what that effectively did was it loosened up the string. And remember, if you guys are left-handed as you're practicing, the string's actually going to get loose. And let's kind of go over why that happens again. So as we're practicing and we throw the yo-yo down, each time we throw the yo-yo down and pull it back up, flip it over, throw it down, pull it back up, that's actually twisting the string each time we do that. And that's emphasized by if we throw the yo-yo down and it starts turning like this, that's tightening up the string, tightening up the string, right? But if we're left-handed, it's actually gonna do the opposite. And as we practice, throw the yo-yo down, pull it back up, flip it over, throw it down, pull it back up, that's twisting the string the other way, so it's gonna loosen the string. And then if we throw the yo-yo down here, the yo-yo tilts out and it spins, that's unwinding the string. So we run into this problem a lot, and the way I showed you how to fix it in episode two was to just take the string off your finger and run your fingers down the string and let it untwist like this. But that can get a little bit annoying because it takes so long, you have to take the string off, you have to untwist it, bring it back onto your finger, wind the yo-yo back up. So we want to go over a much faster and cooler looking way so that way you guys don't have to keep going through that whole process just to fix your string tension. So let's go over how to do both ways of the sidewinder so you guys know exactly how to twist and untwist your string so you can always be working with fresh, proper string tension. Now the trick's going to start from just a regular throw and the way the sidewinder is actually going to work is let's pretend the yo-yo is still spinning here. So as soon as we start to pull the yo-yo up, the string's gonna catch on the inside and start to wind up, but if we can quickly move our hand down to where it's even with the yo-yo to one side, what's gonna happen is the string is actually gonna catch on the side of the yo-yo as it's spinning and flip it around like this over and over again, and that's what's gonna loosen or tighten the string depending on which way we do it. So if we slow that down again, you can see right as I pull the yo-yo up, I'm going to move my hand right over and you can see that that actually causes the string to do exactly what I was just saying of catching on the side of the yo-yo and then it unwinds it. Now I've been practicing the trick a little bit to my opposite side and that's been loosening the string. So as you can see, my string tension's a little bit messed up again. It's too loose this time. So what I want to do now is actually pull my hand to the other side and then the yo-yo is going to catch in the same way but instead on this side of the yo-yo and it's gonna twist the string the opposite way. So let's give that a try. So it's the same thing, this time it helps if you kind of move your hand to your opposite side this time before you pull it. That way when you pull the yo-yo up and bring your hand down, it has room for you to move it over that way. Otherwise, you're not gonna have any space to pull the yo-yo out here and there's no way you're gonna catch it. So let's practice that a little bit more and remember it's totally a timing thing. So if it doesn't look right, if it looks like this and you guys can't get it, that was actually not too bad, but if it looks like that or something, don't worry, that's normal, that happens. So, if you practice it about 50 times, you'll probably be able to get it. So again, if I wanna loosen my string, yo-yo spinning, I'm just gonna slightly tug up, but right away, move my hand to meet the yo-yo right here. That time I was running out of spin a little bit, so I didn't have quite enough spin for the yo-yo to come all the way back to the hand, but that time it was good, right? So this time, my string's a little loose, let's tighten it. Perfect. 
Now we should notice that my string tension is good to go. Now one thing that might happen as you're practicing this trick is your string tension might get too loose. So if you keep practicing it, or if you're left-handed, you keep playing, keep loosening your string. So check it out, my string is getting really loose now. There's gonna reach a point where the yo-yo won't catch. So if I now try to do it to the other side, the yo-yo's spinning here. See how the yo-yo's not catching? It's because my string got too loose and now there's not enough friction for it to snag back up. So at that point, if your string's gotten so loose that you can't get the yo-yo back up, then you're gonna have to take it off your finger and twist it back up the way I showed you in episode two. But ideally, you don't wanna let your string get too loose like that. Um, before you even reach that point, it's already gonna be at a place where it's harder to do the tricks. So yeah, just know that if you're using the spin star and it doesn't come back to your hand when you try to do the sidewinder. Now, if you're practicing a ton and you still can't seem to get it, that's okay. I'll show you one more way of practicing. So what we can actually do is start by moving our hand way up here. So now, instead of pulling the yo-yo up and trying to get the timing right as we move our hand over, the yo-yo is already up here. So it's already way up here, our hand's already up here. So now what we can try is just quickly moving our hand down here and meeting the yo-yo. And that kind of sometimes can help you get the timing down. So check it out. My hand's up here. If I just move up over, see how it, it caught on the string there? All right, guys, and that's going to wrap up the sidewinder. I know this was a quick one, but I thought I'd drop a fun little trick for you guys to practice that'll kind of help you get your string tension right as you continue to practice more tricks each day as I upload a new video. If you guys have any questions about practicing the trick or just about yo-yoing in general, go ahead and drop a comment down below, and I'll do my best to get to all of them. Have fun practicing your sidewinders, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of Learn to Yo-Yo. Peace.